Hello, this is Eddie here. Right, and uh, I'm now going to talk to you about something that nobody's going to believe. And it is about antibiotics. Now, the so-called professional investigators, or whatever you call them, the scientists that are studying all these things, they're trying to say that antibiotics are not working because the bacteria are becoming resistant to them. Well, they got it the wrong way around because what is actually happening is that the immune system is getting weaker. Antibiotics are working exactly the same as they ever did because when I get antibiotics they work brilliantly. <laughs> because I've got a good immune system. If you've got a weak immune system, antibiotics are useless because all they do is help your immune system. And if your immune system is too weak, the antibiotics won't work. So you, so the scientists, they have to go, oh, it's all this, that, and the other, and it's not. It's just the simple thing that every day, people's immune systems are getting weaker. And the reason is all the bloody antibacterial equipment that you get today. Now I don't know whether this is coming out because I'm being driven up the wall by computers today. They've been messed around with so much they don't know what they're talking about. 40 years experience since 1970s they're bloody well doing computers, me. Nobody else in the area would look at them. Anyway, that's all for me though. But that's the reason antibiotics are not working. So, what do you do about it? Well, in actual fact, I've just heard recently that they, they, they now discovered a drug that will improve the immune system. Now, if they have, that will cure everything from cancer to AIDS, because the only reason people get AIDS is because their immune system is too poor to tackle the virus. The AIDS virus is what they call a retrovirus. That means it was from the past, and in the past our immune systems were able to destroy it. But because of the way people are brought up today, the immune system is no longer good enough to do it. So, there you are. Now, I'm 78 now, I'll probably be dead before they uh, finally come round to discovering all these things. But if you look at some of the stuff that I put up about cancer and AIDS and that, four or five years ago, it's still on my website, and it's dated in time, so I, you can't get round it. I can prove that I brought it out then, stated it then. <laughs> and they, they've, they've now become true. One of the things I said to my doctor was, why do you use methylated spirits or white spirits on the arm before you give an injection? Oh, bacteria and, and that. I said, well, aren't they my bacteria? And I'm not used to them and they don't seem to affect me now, so why should they affect me? Lo and behold, a year later, they stop doing it and no longer use them methylated spirits on you when they inject you. <laughs> that's not the only thing. Anyway, that's all for now. I don't want to go on much longer. I'm just trying to get this new computer sorted out. Um, I'm actually having to use an old-fashioned web, Windows webcam to record this. Nothing else seems to work properly, and I don't even know if the sound's coming out right. All right, goodbye.